When we learn about vector, there is one special vector we must always learn, that is called as the unit vector. If we have a vector v, then the unit vector it is always written in v over the magnitude of v. So what is unit vector? Well, unit vector it is a vector with the magnitude of 1. So that's why it is say the magnitude of a unit vector is always one unit. And why do we need this unit vector? Because this unit vector, it serves as an information that tells us about the direction of the vector. Well, there are some standard unit vectors in space that, is, uh, that includes i, j, and k. Recall in three-dimensional system, we have x-axis, we have y-axis, and z-axis. So i, it is 1, 0, 0, which is a unit vector that is in the direction of x-axis. It has the magnitude of 1. And then j in the direction of y-axis with k in the direction of z-axis. All have the length of 1. Okay. Let's take a look at this example. Let's say we want to find a unit vector u in the direction of the vector from p1 to p2. p1 is 1, 0, 1. p2 is 3, 2, 0. So p1 serves as, uh, in, as the initial point and p2 as the terminal point. Okay, let's start to do the calculation. Well, first we find what is p1, p2, the vector. Okay, we take x2 minus x1, 3 minus 1, and then y2 minus y1, that is 2 minus 0, and then z2 minus z1, 0 minus 1, and this will give us 2, 2, negative 1, and therefore the magnitude of p1, p2, is equals to square root of 2 square, that is 4, plus 2 square, 4 again, plus the square of negative 1, that is 1. So this will give a square root of 9, which is 3. Therefore, let me write it on top, okay, u, which is p1, p2, the p1 vector p1, p2, divided by its magnitude, Okay, this will give us a vector 2 over 3, 2 over 3, negative 1 over 3. Okay, so this will be, um, this will be our answer. Okay, the unit vector u that follows this direction but it has a magnitude of 1. Okay, when we learn about unit vector, one of the purpose is to rewrite the vector as a product of its magnitude or length and its direction. So why do we need to do like this? A V, it is written in this way, the product between these two. This is the magnitude, this is the direction. Well, the purpose of writing in this form is to... Um, is to ease our reading to, to is to ease our process to get the information about magnitude and direction if you write a vector in this form you can straight away know about the magnitude or the length and the direction at one glance okay so let's take a look at this example let's say we have v equals to 3i minus 4j and this v is a velocity vector, we would like to express v as a product of its speed times a unit vector in the direction of the motion. In other words, we are looking for um, the form as we have learned just now. We want to rewrite the v as the product between its speed. This is the speed. Okay, this is the speed. Multiply with the direction this one is the direction as we have learned just now unit vector is its a direction so 
First of all, we have to find out what is the magnitude of V. What is the speed? Well, the speed is equal to square root of 3 square. Okay. Don't put in the I, just the 3. Okay, that is 3 square is 9 plus negative 4, square of negative 4, that is 16. So you get square root of 25, which is the value which has the value of 5. So after you get the magnitude of 5, uh, sorry, the magnitude of v, the speed, which is 5, then you can rewrite the v as the product of the speed, which is 5, and the direction. Well, rewrite the directions. I would prefer to write the vector within the angle bracket. So I would write like this, 3 over 5, comma, negative 4 over 5. That's the answer. Or if you prefer to write it in i and j, you can also write in this form. Either one, both have the same meaning. Okay, let's take a look at this one. An application question. A force of 6 newtons is applied in the direction of the vector v, two, v equals to 2i plus 2j minus k. Express the force as a product of its magnitude and direction. Hmm, this is a little bit tricky. Be careful. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Well, first, let's find out what are we looking for. It says the force, the magnitude of the force is 6 newtons. Okay? And then this force it is applied in the direction of V. So if we look at V, we know that it is not a unit vector. So change the V to unit vector. First find the magnitude of V, that is square root of 2 square, which is 4, plus 2 square, 4 again, plus the square of negative 1, that is 1. So this will give us square root of 9, which is 3. So the direction, we are going to rewrite the force. Okay, we're going to rewrite the force as the product between its magnitude and the direction of the force. So the direction, it is V over magnitude of V. See? So we have 6 multiply with the vector 2 over 3, 2 over 3, negative 1 over 3. Okay, so this is the product that we are looking for. So if you prefer to write in IJK, you will get answer like this.